Good morning, everybody. I'm Brother Joe, on, and welcome to Morning Prayer on behalf of the Episcopal Church of the Atonement from the Edgewater neighborhood in Chicago. However, I am at my mother's house in Shoreview, Minnesota, this Monday in the 12th week after Pentecost. Welcome to Google Meet. And for now, we're going to ask participants to mute their microphones. It's up to you whether or not you want to mute your video. Um, comments can be made in, in the lower right-hand corner. If you click on the little bubble there, that's important when we have our prayer um, section later. It's our custom to light, light a candle to signify God's presence. And I have my candle lit. It's not very windy outdoors right now. Um, the, for, for morning prayer, we follow the structure of prayer of the Brotherhood of St. Gregory Daily Office app. And the and daily office app. Um, if you go in there in the upper right hand corner, so there's some important settings for us. Um, you'll want to set the Lord's Prayer to traditional language and you'll want to set the Psalms to the 30 day Psalm cycle. If you are using a, a Book of Common Prayer at home, I'm going to give you some page numbers today um, that are important for us today. Morning prayer will begin on page 80 of the prayer book, followed by the Manetti on page 82. The Psalm today will be Psalm 105 on page 738 of the prayer book. And the canticles today will be Canticle 9 and 19. Canticle 9 is on page 86 of the prayer book. And Canticle 19 is on page 94. Thank you everybody for being here. And we'll just take a moment <clears throat> and we'll begin morning prayer. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Together, let us pray Psalm 105 on page 738 of the prayer book. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, and speak of all his marvelous works. Glory in his holy name. Let all the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Search for the Lord and his strength. Continually seek his face. Remember the marvels he has done, <clears throat> his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O offspring of Abraham, his servant, <clears throat> O children of Jacob, his chosen, he is the Lord our God. His judgments prevail in all the world. He has always been mindful of his covenant, the promise he made for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath that he swore to Isaac which he established as a statute for Jacob, an everlasting covenant for Israel, saying, to you will I give the land of Canaan to be your allotted inheritance. When they were few in number, of little account in sojourners in the land, wandering from nation to nation and from one kingdom to another, 
he let no one oppress them and rebuked, rebuked kings for their sake, saying, do not touch my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Then he called for a famine in the land and destroyed the supply of bread. He sent a man to be for them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They bruised his feet in fetters. His neck they put in an iron collar until his prediction came to pass. The word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the peoples set him free. He set him as a master over his household, as a ruler over all his possessions, to instruct his princes according to his will, and to teach his elders wisdom. Israel came into Egypt, and Jacob became a sojourner in the land of Ham. The Lord made his people exceedingly fruitful. He made them stronger than their enemies, whose heart he turned so that they hated his people and dealt unjustly with his servants. He sent Moses his servant and Aaron whom he had chosen. They worked his signs among them and portents in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and it grew dark. But the Egyptians rebelled against his words. He turned their waters into blood and caused their fish to die. Their land was overrun by frogs in the very chambers of their kings. He spoke and there came swarms of insects and gnats within all their borders. He gave them hailstones instead of rain and flames of fire throughout their land. He blasted their vines and their fig trees and shattered every tree in their country. He spoke and the locust came and young locusts without number, which ate up all the green plants of their in their land and devoured the fruit of their soil. He struck down the firstborn of their land, the first fruits of all their strength. He led out his people with silver and gold. In all their tribes, there was not one that stumbled. Egypt was glad of their going because they were afraid of them. He spread out a cloud for a covering and a fire to give light in the night season. They asked and quails appeared. He satisfied them with bread from heaven. He opened the rock and water flowed. So the river ran in the dry places. For God remembered his holy word for Abraham, his servant. So he led forth his people with gladness, his chosen with shouts of joy. He gave his people the lands of the nations and they took the fruit of others toil that they might keep his statutes and observe his laws. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the second book of Samuel. David came to Mahanaim while Absalom crossed the Jordan with all the men of Israel. Now Absalom had set Amasa over the army in the place of Joab. 
Amasa was the son of a man named Ithra the Ishmaelite, who had married Abigail, daughter of Nahash, sister of Zeruiah, Joab's mother. The Israelites and Absalom encamped in the land of Gilead. When David came to Mahanaim, Shobi, son of Nahash from Rabbah of the Ammonites, and Machir, son of Amil of Lobdabar, and Barzillai of the Gileadite from Rogalim, brought beds, basins, and earthen vessels, wheat, barley, meal, parched grain, beans and lentils, honey and curds, sheep and cheese from the, her for, from the herd, for David and the people with him to eat. For they said, the troops are hungry and weary and thirsty in the wilderness. Then David mustered the men who were with him and set over them commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds. And David divided the armor, army into three groups, one third under the command of Joab, one third under the command of Abishai, son of Zeru, Zeruiah, Joab's brother, and one third under the command of Ittai the Gittite. The king said to the men, I myself will go out with you. But the men said, you shall not go out. For if we flee, they will not care about us. If half of us die, they will not care about us. But you are worth 10,000 of us. Therefore, it is better that you send us help from the city. The king said to them, whatever seems best to, to you, I will do. So the king stood at the side of the gate while all the army marched out by hundreds and by thousands. The king ordered Joab and Abishai and Ittai saying, deal gently for my sake with the young man Absalom. <clears throat> all the people heard when the king gave orders to all the commanders concerning Absalom. So the army went out into the field against Israel and the battle was fought in the forest of Ephraim. The men of Israel were defeated there by the servants of David, and the slaughter there was great on that day, 20,000 men. The, ma the battle spread over the face of all the country, and the forest claimed more victims that day than the sword. Here ends the reading. Together, let us pray Canticle 9, the Song of Isaiah, found on page 86 of the prayer, prayer book. Canticle 9 on page 86. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation, and on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion. Ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Since the tribune wanted to find out what Paul was being accused of by the Jewish leaders, the next day he released him and ordered the chief priests and the entire council to meet. He brought Paul down and had him stand before them. While Paul was looking intently at the council, he said, Brothers, up to this day I have lived my life with a clear conscience before God. Then the high priest Ananias ordered those standing near him to strike him on the mouth. At this Paul said to him, God will strike you, you whitewashed wall. Are you sitting there to judge me according to the law, yet in violation of the law you order me to be struck? Those standing nearby said, do you dare insult God's high priest? And God and Paul said, I did not realize, brothers, that he was a high priest, for it is written, you shall not speak evil of a leader of your people. When Paul noticed that some were Sadducees and others were Pharisees, he call, called out in the councils, 
counsel. Brothers, I am a Pharisee, a son of Pharisees. I am on trial concerning the hope of the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dissension be began between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the assembly was divided. The, Sadduc the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection or angel or spirit, but the Pharisees acknowledge all three. Then a great clamor arose, and certain scribes of the Pharisees group stood up and contended, we find nothing wrong with this man. What if a spirit or an angel has spoken to him? When the dissension became violent, the tribune, fearing that they would tear Paul to pieces, ordered the soldiers to go to go down, take him by force, and bring him into the barracks. That night, the Lord stood near him and said, Keep up your courage, for just as you have testified for me in Jerusalem, so you must bear witness also in Rome. Here ends the reading. Together, let us pray Canticle 19, the song of the redeemed found on page 94 of the prayer book. Canticle 19 on page 94. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Together, let us say the Apostles' Creed, found on page 96 of the prayer book, followed by the Lord's Prayer. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen together let us pray can suffrages a found on page 97 of the prayer book suffrages a on page 97 Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God, you have given your only Son to be for us a sacrifice for sin and also an example of godly life. Give us grace to receive thankfully the fruits of his redeeming work and to follow daily in the blessed steps of his most holy life through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, 
we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Next are the prayers for the Episcopal Church of the Atonement in Chicago and beyond for the week of August 20th. You can add your own intentions either silently or aloud at home, or you can add them to the comments feed of this Google Meet, and hopefully I will see them and can read them aloud for everybody. We pray for the healing and comfort of those for whom we now offer our prayers. We pray for the sick, for Phyllis, Graham, Mark, Eli, Destiny, Kay, Ron B, Jerry C, Brad, Mary, Killian, Rita, Dennis, Mary, Tom R, Ed, Thomas, a priest, Susan T, former President Carter, Ken, a deacon, Mary, Barbara, Richard, Michael, the presiding bishop, John, Manny, Chris, Nancy, Jeff, Connie, Michael N, Carlos, Farrell, Roman, Rodney, a bishop, Mary K, Kevin, Leslie, James, a priest, Jackie, John recovering from surgery, John C, Jose, Patricia, and all with COVID-19. We pray for those needing special prayers, the families of those hospitalized or in nursing homes, especially Elizabeth, for all who mourn, especially Duda, Allison, and Lee, for peace of mind for Shane, Priest, and the people of Hawaii as they recover from devastating fires on the island of Maui and for those living amid violence, for peace throughout the world, especially in Ukraine, Sudan, Ethiopia, Israel, Gaza, the West Bank, Syria, Yemen, Myanmar, Niger, and for the work of Care for Friends and Care for Real. We pray for all healthcare workers, especially Joseph Basil, Jackie, Gary, Will, Choi, Erica K, Larry, Kieran, Lee, Kari, Anthony, William, Eric, Lisa, Thomas, and Emily, for all families and children in the city and state, for all expectant parents and for all prisoners, especially Oscar Roy, Jorge, and Mingo. We pray for our military services on active duty, for Andre, Ricky, Owen, Max, Celeste, and Nate. We pray for Paula, our bishop, Charles, our rector-elect, Dave and Amanda, our wardens, and for the members of our vestry. We give thanksgiving this week for the birthday, birthdays of Philip Chester, Catherine Mendenhall, Allison Thomas, Sophia Weglars, Barbara Kewen, Ron Mui. Give thanksgiving this week for the wedding anniversaries of Rodney Starr and George Waugh, Marty and Eileen Nutley, Tom and Ann Cassidy, Rufus Gonzalez and Edmund Hebson, Peter Benitez and Bill Hancox. Uh, Thanksgiving this week for the life vow anniversary in BSG of William Henry Benefield and the first vow anniversary, 20 years, in BSG for me, for Joseph Basil Gauss. We pray for the departed. Frank, Al Abel Frank Alberico, Maureen Jasper, Paul Nicholson, Michael Bice, priest and physician, all who have died in the wildfires in Hawaii, all victims of gun violence, all who have died of COVID-19, and at the anniversaries of their deaths of Ernesto Garcia, Max Tracy Priest, Ruby Th Thomason Garrison, Jane Abel, Hans Kokot, Donna Kastner, Paul Kikutani, Eric Valentine. And we have a prayer for Ukraine. Lord of all the earth, be present with the people of Ukraine at this time of danger, fear, and conflict. Grant that wise and peaceable counsels may yet prevail and give to all suffering nations the freedom that they desire and deserve. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May these and all our intercessions be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. 
Together, let us pray the general thanksgiving on page 101 of the prayer book. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. This concludes morning prayer with atonement. You can join us for morning prayer every day at 8.30 a.m. with the Episcopal Church of the Atonement here on Google Meet. You can just go to the, the Atonement website and click from there. On Tuesdays, we have evening prayer on at 5.30 p.m. You can get, that's also Google Meet, and you can also get that, get there from Atonement's main website. Daily Mass at Atonement, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, 7.30 a.m., Thursday at noon. Wednesday, there's an additional 6.30 p.m. Mass. There's a healing Mass at Saturday at 10, Sunday Mass schedule. Low Mass at 8 a.m., Sung Mass at 9 a.m., and a Solemn High Mass at 11 a.m. Important, important for everybody um, within the physically near atonement, this coming Saturday um, is the block party on Saturday, August 26th. It'd be great um, for everybody um, to be there, and we can give you an opportunity to meet our new rector. So thank you, everybody. Everybody be kind, be safe, and have a great day. Thank you.